Hello guys and welcome to this video lesson um, on the C programming language. So in this video what I want to do is write a small program that will tell us if a year that we input is a leap year or not. So let's go ahead and get started. First I'm going to write a description of the program. Description, okay. Now this program shows if a year is a leap year or not. So how do you know if a year is a leap year? So let's see that right there. How, how to know if a year is a leap year? Well, one, um, leap years are any year that can be evenly divided by four. Okay, so these are um, years such as 2012 or 2016, um, etc. Okay, uh, let's see. A leap year or a year is not a leap year if it can be evenly divided by 100. So um, an example of years like that would be so such as uh, 2,100, uh, 2,200, etc. Okay, um, except, except if a year is divisible by 400. So, um, if it's just divisible by 100, it's not a leap year. But if it's divisible by 400, then it is um, a leap year. So if a year is divisible by 400, then it's a leap year. And in that case, of course, if it's divisible by 400, then it's divisible by both 4 and 100. Um, but it cannot just be um, 100 by itself that it's divisible by. It has to also be divisible by divisible by 4. So let me give you an example here. So such as the year 2000 and uh, the year 2400. Okay. All right. So there's many ways we can write this. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do a pretty simple uh, way of thinking about this. So I'm including my library stdio.h and now I'm going to create my main function and return our value 0. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called year. That's going to be the input variable or the input year that the user is going to input. And we're going to ask the user to please enter a year to check if it is a leap year. mistake there there we go all right then we need to scan in the user's input so we're scanning in the year which is an integer all right so now we've got our user's input now uh, there's multiple ways we could do this so one way I could basically say if the year mod 400 is equal to zero so we said if it's 400 Oh, I'm sorry, we said it, if the year is divisible by 400, then it is a leap year. So here we're going to print f um, the year or percent %d, which will be the year, is a leap year. And then we'll do a new line, and I can't forget to put the year there. Okay. Now, let's see. Else if. 
So if the year is not divisible by 400, um, we can check and see if it's divisible by 100. So if it is divisible by 100, then it is not a leap year, like we said up here. So it's not a leap year. And we know it's not a leap year because um, it's, it's not divisible by 400. Remember, it has to be divisible by 400 um, in order for it to be a leap year. And if it's just 100 by itself or just divisible by 100 by itself, then it is not a leap year. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this print statement there and paste it. And I'm just going to put percent %d is not a leap year. Okay, um, else if our year is divisible by 4, then it is a leap year. So I'm just going to paste that there because that's what we said up here. And if it doesn't fall in any of these cases, then it's um, not, it's not a leap year. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a run. Okay, and right now I have it saved as untitled, but that's no problem. Um, please enter a year to check if it is a leap year. So let's try some of our examples here, such as 2012. So 2012 is a leap year. Let's run it again. Let's try a year that's not a leap year, like uh, 2100. 2100 is not a leap year. Perfect. Uh, let's see here. Let's try another year that is a leap year, like 2000. So 2000 is a leap year. And let's try just some arbitrary year, 2015. So 2015 is not a leap year. Okay, so thank you guys. I'll be sure to leave this code in the description below. Please leave likes, questions, comments. Uh, please subscribe and don't forget to, to become a supporter on Patreon. Thanks as always for watching, guys, and I see you all in the next video.